Hey guys and welcome back to my channel uh, Mumbai Karboy. Yes, this is another vlog. Of course, you've read in the description it says uh, tips on how to actually take care of your bike uh, during this long parking. Of course, all of us have been quarantined uh, at home. And yes, uh, this is an idea of to give you what you should actually do, not leave your bike there uh, when uh, left unattended. So this is a vlog that I'm going to take you through of telling you what all you need to do with your bike. Stay tuned and have some fun. So yes, now we have, what we are going to do is we are going to cover up uh, most of uh, the parking elements of the bike. The bike is parked but still road worthy is basically what our motto is going to be and what I am going to explain in this video. So the first thing on the bike is basically as you can see it's on the main stand so please make sure that you keep the bike on the main stand. You, can, you need to have both the tires off the ground as well. The ground also has to be a steady ground so you make sure that you know your bike is not wobbling and stuff. Now over here you can see the front tire is not off the ground but it's okay because if you put pressure or you lower press on the rear side the front tire is going to be uh, actually above the ground level. What you need to do is basically make sure that the tire air pressures are intact so before you park it make sure that your tire air pressures are there the PSI will drop um, eventually but not at a greater volume so basically this is how uh, you need to first of all make sure that you park your bike uh, on the main stand not the side stand what exactly has to be done with the battery the battery has to be uh, you know charged every week so you need to turn on your bike every week so we're going to go to it and do that now what does that mean it's basically when you put turn on your bike it basically has to be idling for at least three minutes and then you can rave the bike a little for another two minutes so approximately five minutes is what your bike needs to be on and uh, please do not rave the bike too much because that's going to cause discoloration of the exhaust pipes which you don't want to do so i'm going to take you through now how that has to be done You don't need to rave the bike too much, of course, because uh, as I said, that's going to cause damage to the bike itself. So now what we're going to do is basically go ahead and rave the bike. It's across three minutes of the bike being idling. So what we're going to do is rave the bike not too much as I initially said as well. basically the first step of basically turning on the bike and having the battery actually uh, recharge itself so yes that was basically three minutes of idling and two minutes of raving now when I was raving I did not let the rpm go more than 2000 so please maintain that as well now, the most important point is in case you cannot access your bike you know if it's in your office it was in your office park or you left it in your uh, in-laws building or your friends building to make sure it's safe Please go ahead and disconnect the black that's the negative wire from the battery terminal that will keep your bike from not uh, you know the battery not uh, discharging so that is one more uh, good step that you can do in case your bike is far away so now the third part is basically now we're going to go ahead and activate all the clutch cables so because what happens is these, these cables are going to be uh, you know there there's nothing there's no movement in those cables and they can get corroded or the movement would be you know uh, tougher initially after a long time when you turn uh, take the bike for a troll so what we can go ahead and do is basically just go ahead and you know pump those levers there so that basically creates a friction between the wires and the cables are uh, not damaged as well that basically goes for even the brakes the rear brakes so please go ahead and press those pedals press those clutches press those uh, brakes right there uh, so that there is movement it's not uh, you know got 
uh, corroded inside and it, there is it's not stiff enough so that's basically the third re, uh, thing that you need to do on the bike as well basically now keeping the chain lubricated so yes i've got with me is the Royal Enfield chain maintenance kit. This basically uh, includes the cleaner as well as lube. So I'm going to take you through exactly how it is done. I'm not going to give you the step of basically how to clean the chain at the moment. You, you'll see it in a video coming soon. This is only going to be basically how I'm going to put the lube. And yes, you need to put the bike on the main stand as we've already done initially in the video and how the lubrication has to be put on the chain. So stay tuned and let's check this out. This time. Now we've got the chain lubrication right there and I'm going to show you the bike is running. We put it on the first gear as well and what you need to do is this is basically the chain loop that I use from Royal Enfield. Go ahead put that nozzle right in there. So now the most important one is uh, most of you have at times faced the bike misfiring that's basically when you fill the petrol above the anti-splash plate so yes uh, this is the fourth one is basically uh, the fuel uh, filling information so what we're going to cover is basically uh, the the fuel there's a splash plate that is there there's a maximum level of fuel that you can fill in the bike i'm going to show you that please maintain that do not fill it above that that's going to help you in a long run because when you start the bike it's not going to misfire and it will be seamlessly uh, smooth even after two or three weeks so i'm going to take you there right now there are three uh, very very important that is the fuel uh, filler collar the anti splash plate and the maximum level so i'm going to show you all three of them so as you can see right now that's the uh, collar the fuel uh, filler collar basically the first element that you see uh, on that is right here this is the collar this is called the collar right here okay now you can see the third one is basically the second one okay let's go to the second one uh, i'm trying to get you a proper image yes it's right there now yeah so the anti splash plate is basically this this level that you see over here that is basically don't cross that level because that causes the fuel to misfire and the level down the last the last collar is basically where you need to fill that is how much you need to fill your bike so that is basically the fuel uh, information the fuel filling information that you need to actually keep in mind when doing it So also before you leave your bike just the way it is make sure that you park your bike you need to have a parking cover so that is very important because that helps the bike not to get dirty once you know it's been kept for uh, so many days in an open so please go ahead and park your bike i'm going to show you the way i do it so i basically put a towel on my seat so that if any cat sits on it i don't uh, hunt the cat away because uh, of course uh, they're looking for shelter and they want to sit so that will avoid them from clawing. Uh, if they claw the uh, towel, it's not going to damage the seat. That's the reason I put a towel, then I put a bed sheet and then the cover. So stay tuned for that. So that's the towel that I use. It goes right there. So I've got this bed sheet basically. I've got some threads here and there just to make sure that it is there to basically hold on to the bike. Let's go ahead and cover the bike now. Yes, I forgot one more important thing is basically periodically uh, do wash your bike uh, with soap and water and use a microfiber cloth to basically get all the dust and all the watermarks away because the microfiber cloth is, is the best because it actually does not leave stains as well and um, it's, it absorbs water so I, that's the reason I always keep a microfiber cloth in my bike.
so yes guys coming to the helmet you also need to make sure your helmet is clean from inside so i have a helmet which the padding come off of course all of you might also have it as well so my helmet entire padding comes off i actually there's a spray that comes i don't have it right now because mine got over it's like a foam based spray that you just need to spray inside your helmet and it actually leaves a nice odor and it just wipe away so you don't need to dip it in water and stuff like that so i'll give you the link or i'll give you a small uh, description as well of the one that i use i hope so yes guys that was basically my tips on how you can keep your bike uh, ready and steady for the long parking i hope you like this video please do subscribe share and comment in case you have any questions below and i'll be happy to answer them this is mumbai car boy saying thank you so much for all the love and support see you on my next video bye bye